What I've got here is the gear that I probably use with the soft machine, or actually for most of my electric guitar gigs. And the first thing you'll notice is I've got this up here, raised up the pedals. That means I can, if I'm standing up, I have them a bit higher. I can fiddle around with like distortions and things and parameters while I'm playing, which I really like, rather than bending down and getting up and bending down and getting up. So my basic distortion is this blues breaker. Uh... See, I might start off with it like sort of like about here. One thing about this pedal, classically, is you turn the gain down, the volume goes down. So that's why you need to adjust these things all the time. So if I have it about here, for instance. like a bit of crunch and then it goes up it doesn't go up to a sort of mega distortion but it goes up to about this you know for a lot of things I do that's 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 kind of enough so I've, I think it's got tone obviously and I can I can so that's one of the reasons I mean mainly for this pedal that I have this up here because there's a lot of interaction so as I say the gain goes up the volume goes up so you have to adjust volume tone of course um, then for an extra boost I might use the full drive generally with the with the compression. If I take the compression off, yes, I, I usually use it with the compression off. That's also my sort of maximum distortion sound. Okay, and then here I've got the POG, which is a very useful thing. I do love this uh, for instance, if we put this loop back on, I love, I'll do the extreme pog first off, which is, you know, octave up. Which is, uh, <laughs> it's, it's like a crazy chipmunk gone mad. But I mean, if, you, if I use this like, say this, with most of the dry sound and just a little bit of uh, the interval sound. It's just, it's like, it's just above subliminal, you know, from the dry sound. So I might use a bit of that just all the way through a tune. So there's just a little bit of, uh, and then uh, here I've got, that's the POG. Here I've got the B9, which is the organ. And so kind of Soft Machine had a lot of organ sounds in it uh, back in the day. So I could... And the good thing about this is... It comes in. There's a click there. Hang on, I'll put a bit of mod on. There again, that's just there are plenty of organ sounds. That's just with the jazz organ sound. There, there again, I. If, I. if I put a bit of distortion on this. That's 
quite a good sound with distortion, but basically it's, it's uh, you know, there are loads of, there's a sort of like cathedral organ here, sort of. <laughs> you know, but I tend to use things, I do, I use them over the top actually sometimes, but basically at the moment I'm showing that this is a chorus, I use a bit of, occasionally use not much chorus, but I do like to, well that's, a <laughs> that sort of sound as an extreme effect sometimes. But I don't use that very much. Now here's the line six that, um, well, I use it all the time, actually. All the time, in all the bands I'm in. Soft Machine, I might do some kind of like, uh, if I want it to be extreme, I might do some, some. Uh, that's, that's kind of reverse or. Larger. That's got like a tape, that's a tape. Blimey, it's all gone microphonic. That's the tape echo um, uh, uh, imitation, but basically I use it with a bit of a bit of delay. Uh, it's got a very nice a. It's got true bypass, and b. When it's in, to me, it's quite an enhancing sound to the thing. So this is basically on the loop setting but there's a bit of delay there. You can put in a little bit of mod as well. Nice clean sound. Nice clean sound there. Um, and so, kind of looping of course. So, you know, it's a simple loop. It's a, it's a very short loop, it's only 14 seconds, but I find for in, in, a, in a gig situation, I might be using that all the time. Even when the bass and drums are playing, I might be adding little things and subliminally putting things in and, uh, you know, I mean, everybody knows about how to use loops, but I mean, I find that very useful in particularly this one. Uh, a, a uncomplicated, um, loop with a nice delay. The line, for, you know, I, I first got this because I saw Bill Frizzell playing solo and uh, he had the line six, which is about 2000. So I went out and got one and uh, my first one lasted till about a year ago and I had to get a new one. But uh, there you go. And that's it really. And then this little volume pedal that I got in, in America because we were touring America and my volume pedal uh, packed up, so a really n the guy who was doing the support for us, a bloke called Belado, very fine guitarist and keyboard player and musician, he, he kind of gave me this, which actually it's, it's, it's a little bit, but I need to get something new, but that's great for traveling, you know. Anyway, there you go, that, on, on the amp, of course. <coughs> this is the Two Rock amp, Studio 35, Studio Pro 35, and um, I chose it because it's a valve amp, but it's um, quite even. So it's got the sort of even qualities of a, of a, of a solid state, but it's got, you know, valve, valve, uh, whatever you want to call it, color and heft and, because <coughs> I've got <coughs> nice little valve amps that are very characterful but they're a bit too characterful sometimes. And a, and, a, and a valve amp that's in between characterful and sort of reliably even across the, uh, across the frequency range. And I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's high quality build and everything. It's a, it's a nice, nice little amp. It doesn't, it doesn't overdrive really. I use the pedals to overdrive it. And uh, <coughs> you know, it's quite simply made, but it's very good quality. And, uh, and particularly this one, the piggyback model, I, I think, you know, you get so much depth. I mean, I can get loads of... I mean, 
that's too much bass from what I'd normally use, but you can hear how much bass response you get out of that cab. Ah, right, well this guitar is uh, a Martin Booth guitar that I've been playing for about 10 years. And um, it's sort of customized, signature model. Um, and basically what I asked, I mean, this is a model that Martin makes, and what I asked him to do for me was particularly the neck width and the width at the nut, and it's a, this is sort of maximum he does, one and three quarter there, because I've got a very big bloody hand. So I find doing C major, that's my test for a guitar. If I can play C major down there, then I start listening to how good it sounds, how it feels. But if I can't get my fingers in to play a simple C major, then I stop. So I need that width down there because, uh, and I'm playing lots of solo. So I'm doing lots of sort of, kind of solo gigs, you know, so I need something that's wide so I can play chords. It's comfortable for, very comfortable for chord playing. And of course it's a solid guitar, so it overdrives beautifully. Pickups, Seymour Duncan pickups. Got string through body, strap type arm, which, um, you know, works well. And so what it means is it's got that particular this to me is absolutely crucial, obviously not just to me, everybody knows this, to the sound of a guitar. If you've got this basically, uh, you know, strings through the body, strap type, uh, tremolo you know, system, then the strings come at a real angle and you get, a, you get a very different timbre to the note. It's clearer in a way, more kind of, Pure, if you like. It's also got, you know, it's got to good coil taps. So I can go single. So it's got that coil tap thing there. Um, but it's, been, you know, it's a beautifully made guitar and beautiful woods and very, very good. And my other main guitar is the. Uh, here we are. I'll just reach over and get. Oh, see. So my road manager is going to hand me my guitar. <laughs> Thank you, Hill. <laughs> and this is the Fret King JE model, uh, which uh, there again it is model. Uh, it's basically uh, they uh, Trevor Wilkinson and Fret King have a have a uh, uh, the Elise shape, which is basically this shape. But got together with Trevor Wilkinson and we. I decided, we decided, I wanted a pick guard, um, ebony fingerboard, lock inlays, the width, the one and three quarter width, and the color, and the, this is, I'm afraid to say, I have, no, I'm not afraid to say, I have actually put a, an, a, an arm on this, because normally there's a very, very beautiful lyre type um, tailpiece, and the strings go through the body. And that was one of the big features of this guitar, the strings go through the body. So obviously this model is, is slightly modified because I wanted to have, you know, I do love to have, I've got a thing about having an, I don't know if it's sort of, it's fetal or something. I, I like to have an arm to grab. <laughs> you know? So if I can, I'm, I'm happy, but this has got a, uh, you can. Now, one of the things that is amazing about this guitar to me and, and the Trevor Wilkinson system is this very coil pickup. So that's so that is the that is the full single coil. That is the full humbucker, and you can get between them. If I go to about two, there you can hear it. So if I do that like that. If I do that like that, if I do it like this, about two, yeah, a little bit, you get just a little bit more, a little bit more humbucker. So you've really got the best of both worlds there. You get a, a gradation. I mean, obviously the gradations are not exact, but if you put it yeah, just, just between, just a, a little off single coil and dialing in a bit of the... Compare that to the humbucker. It 
sounds, this sounds very, very natural with some warmth. So that, that's uh, a real good feature of this instrument. You know, so you, if you're say, overdrive. Oh, let's just do that. So I can go, you know. You can hear the difference. You can hear all the differences there. So that, that's, that's a very, very useful thing, that. And the pickups are wonderful. Um, and it's nice and comfortable, you know, so it's, a, it's, it's a, like a nice small bodied, and the block goes, I'm not quite sure where the block goes to, about there, but it's quite hollow. So yeah, so if I do some sort of, uh, you know, jazz kind of, jazzish or swingish thing, you know. There's a little bit of hollow there, uh, which so it, it's great for that kind of stuff. But but it, you know it overdrives beautifully as well. Etc. So it's good for that as well. So it's a really really nice guitar. Very very good. So these two guitars are kind of my staple, really.